All right, I've got beets. We're talking about beets today, runners. Coach Elizabeth here. Nitrates, what do they do for performance? If they work, how do you use them? And what things to watch out for to make sure that you aren't having any bad interactions? Let's dive in. magic red elixir performance juice of the gods. I'm asked all the time, what about nitrates? Does beetroot juice really work to help me go faster? We're going to talk about it today. As I have said in many videos before, there is no magic potion that somehow overnight is going to turn you into an Olympic runner, but there are some substances nitrates being one of them that actually that studies have shown can give you a little boost in performance and cognitive function so before uh, we talk about what some of those effects are i thought it would be a good idea to dive into what exactly are nitrates in case you're not a science nerd like me so what are nitrates the simple version high intensity exercise requires blood flow to your muscles the body uses nitric oxide to dilate your blood vessels and make that happen. The nitrates in food can boost nitric oxide in your blood, so there's that potential performance boost. Now, how do they actually help athletes? What have some of the studies and lab tests shown? Uh, they've proven that it can increase the size of your blood vessels to allow more oxygen to flow. It can improve muscle oxygenation during exercise. It increases kind of exercise tolerance, so you can work harder and possibly longer. Um, it reduces fatigue. It boosts power or force, um, and also can help reduce blood lactate levels. Good news, there are also some known health benefits to consuming nitrates that aren't just for runners. So nitrates can help reduce blood pressure. They can prevent dementia because they add, they increase oxygen flow to the brain. They can help with type two diabetes. Uh, nitrates um, and beets have a compound in them, an antioxidant, alpha lipoic acid, ALA, that can lower glucose levels and increase insulin sensitivity. It helps with digestion. So the foods that have nitrates like beets uh, are higher in fiber so that can kind of help uh, with that it also reduces inflammation in the body so nitrates in these healthy kind of foods are good for you not just for your running but to help keep you a healthy athlete all right what are some of the best food sources of nitrates as everybody knows we have beets or beetroot be sure you don't throw away those greens, those are also good for you. You have arugula or rocket, as they say in the UK, uh, rhubarb and spinach. Now, how do you actually use this to boost your performance? There are two kind of common ways that uh, you can do. There's the immediate right before your race way to do the performance boost. And then there's a, what's known as like a seven day kind of surge in trying to boost your nitrate levels um, over the course of about a week. So for the first one, two to three hours prior to your event, you want to take that beetroot shot or concentrated form of beetroot powder or juice. You're looking for 400 to 500 milligrams. They either make that in a powder or in a beet shot. The other way is a seven day kind of whole food or beetroot juice. Um, really boosting your levels. So every day taking about 800 milligrams or three to four cups of kind of beets, beetroot, um, cooked beets, spiralized beets, something like that. Now, one thing that I really wanna cover that I think is the best way to use kind of beets or beetroots to boost performance is if you're going to a race at altitude. So 
it's definitely something that I will do um, if you're training or racing at altitude because the air is thinner. It's harder to get that oxygen. Uh, the nitrates in these foods can help with red blood cell formation so that you can carry more oxygen. So that's definitely a tip. I would say something that's worthwhile to do if you have a race at altitude. Now, something I want you to remember is kind of an interaction or what you don't want to do when you are consuming your beetroot supplement. Chewing gum, brushing your teeth, or using an antibacterial mouthwash. The saliva in your mouth has this good bacteria that helps break down the nitrate or convert the nitrate into nitric oxide. So, if you're going to be taking your supplement, avoid chewing gum, brushing your teeth, or using an antibacterial mouthwash. Keep that in the back of your mind. Most of us, I would hope all of us, when we wake up in the morning on race day, one of the first things we do is brush our teeth. You don't wanna combine that with your beetroot juice. So allow a little time in between so that you can get that full conversion to nitric oxide and boost performance. So to summarize, the nitrates have been shown to boost performance, especially in the lab, but just because they show it in the lab doesn't mean it's always gonna work. It's something you should test out, try before race day, see if you feel that performance boost. I think it's worthwhile, especially at altitude if you have a race, uh, to increase that oxygen capacity and help you get across the finish line. And at the end of the day, it's a healthy food. Why not eat a little bit more of it? These days, you can actually wear shorts in the summer. All right, if you liked the video today, if you learned something, click the like button, leave me a comment. Have you ever experimented with that, like beetroot juice or any kind of nitrates? And subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of this hot nutrition news that comes out regularly. Check you in the next video.